YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, two reviews in the space of two days. That's amazing. Uh, this is actually the Monday uh, 3D Blu-ray reviews that I was talking about that, I, that I'm going to try and do every Monday. And I'm going through all my 3D films first. So for those who haven't seen the f previous video or the conversation about it, here's a quick description. I was doing 3D Blu-ray reviews on Instagram, known as Insta Blue Reviews, and I was enjoying doing those. But then I realized and Alice told me that I should start maybe doing them on YouTube and being vocal about them instead. And I said, okay, I'll give that a shot. So last week's Monday, I did the original 1991 Beauty and the Beast. And I had a great time doing that one. And I absolutely loved that movie. So following on this time, if I can get the camera to stop wobbling, because I keep uh, knocking it, is Big Hero 6 3D Blu-ray review. So a little bit about the story. Uh, two brothers, Hiro and Tadashi, they have a... Uh, well, Hiro is quite young, and he's extremely intelligent, much intelligent than his already intelligent older brother, Tadashi. Uh, and they've got these uh, group of friends, and uh, Hiro's trying to get into a kind of like a special university, you know, in San Francisco, or San Francisco, or whatever it's called in the film. Um, and... An incident happens, and during that incident, uh, Hero stumbles upon a project his brother was working on called Baymax, who is probably the most lovable character in most recent Disney movies. For me, anyway. I mean, he's just so adorable. He's big, he's soft and cuddly, and his voice is just amazing. Huh. <laughs> Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, and like Hero starts talking to him, realizes that he was an invention of Tadashi's, and how um, he was like a like a technically like a robot nurse. He was there to help heal people and help. And some events unravel along the way, which ends up becoming a Disney animated superhero movie, which is freaking. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's all I want to do about the actual story. See, I don't really do the story so much for these. Um, this is These reviews are mostly about the 3D Blu-ray, whether they're worth getting, whether they're worth leaving, um, just stuff like and how they differ compared to the 2D version. So that's what I do. So that's a little bit of the story aside. Um, there will be a couple of spoilers along the way. Only a few. So if you don't haven't seen this film, probably leave this review. But if you have, great. Um, so the 2D version of this movie, let's get off with the 2D version. The 2D version is beautiful. Yet again, color schemes are great. Uh, animation is beautiful. Uh, design of the characters, you know, they look genuinely... Well, that, that you can see them. <laughs> they look genuine. Their emotions look real. Um... The way they've done the city is fantastic. Um, and it is just a beautiful Blu-ray to own. But does it compare to the 3D version? The 3D offers mostly in-depth. I'd say there's about 95% depth and about 5% pop-out. Which for me, I like a good 50-50 ratio. Does it make the 3D bad? Hell no. Why? Because it looks like you're looking at an aquarium fish tank. So you're looking into this deep box. And all these fish, you can see them like in the middle, you can see behind them, around them. So you're getting all that nice depth of what's in the centre of the screen compared to the back, which is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I still think it's amazing. Would I have preferred a bit more pop-out? Of course. But we, what we got works, you know? Um... I know that I've had a difference of opinion before when I first owned it and I was watching it on a different TV. I said it was quite flat. And depending on what I watch it on, sometimes it does look flat. But from what I've watched recently of it on a different setup, it does look a lot better. So would I recommend purchasing the 3D over the 2D? I think if you're if you're like me and you kind of prefer 50-50 and you are looking for a lot more pop-out scenes than depth, it's best to probably not because you'll only really get the depth side of it. But 
if you just enjoy 3D as a whole and don't care whether it's depth pop out both, then yeah, it's definitely perfect. Does the 3D add anything to the movie? Now that's the big question about any 3D release. Does the 3D add anything that the 2D does not have? Answer is no. It doesn't actually add that much difference. It's just kind of like a ooh, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. But you can enjoy this movie just as much on 2D as you do in 3D. So I recommend that if you can find the 3D one cheaper, it's a good visual stunning 3D Blu-ray. But you know, if the 2D's cheaper, you you you're not really missing out that much, so just go for that. They're both worth picking up and watching. Um yeah, the 3D one, if you can get it as well, that's a bonus, but I think 2D version will do you just as much satisfaction. Um So, Lewis was a bit more a little bit more about the story. So, the reason for them becoming heroes is because during a a science show and tell where Hero shows his project working with these mind control magnet beads. Um, an incident happens where there's a fire going off in the building and Tadashi, Hero's brother, decides to run in to help save the professor and the building blows up just as Tadashi runs in. Now this is the bit where I, I wasn't going to talk about but you know, it makes sense as to why. Big Hero 6 is on my top 10 favourite Disney movies list. Reason for being is because it speaks to me more than most other Disney movies. Um, yeah, uh, Tadashi, well, when he gets blown up in the building, obviously he dies. And it hits Hero for being at such a young age. I, when I... Uh, yeah, I lost my eldest brother when I was 14. He was 19. Uh, he died of a really rare illness. He never... He never liked going to hospital. And one day he said, could he go two to three days later? Something happened and that was it. Um, and being 14, I didn't know how to, to feel. I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And sometimes I still can't. Um, and he looked exactly like me. But with red curly hair. And he was like 7 foot something. So a giant version of me. With bright red curly hair. <laughs> but. This film spoke out to me. Because the feeling of. Revenge and hatred. And anger. It, it, it does feel like that. I mean, a parent, obviously I lose my dad as well. You lose a parent, you already feel lowest of the low. But when you lose a brother, or even a sister if you have, it, it's a different kind of feeling. You know, in our minds, we, we when we're young and when we're born, as we get older, we're already taught that our parents are, well supposed to kind of go before us with kind of something that's programmed into your brain as a kid so it still hurts but you kind of know that that's a possibility but when a 19 year old gets taken just out of nowhere even when they're younger i mean don't get me wrong i have nowhere near gone through anything close to people who have lost young kids i never will pretend i have i feel sorry for anyone who's lost anybody but I'm just speaking from my side of things. Being 14, him being 19, I mean, it's a five-year gap. You don't think about it. You never, th you never wake up one day and think, oh, well, I've never lost my brother or my sister. You don't, you don't think about that at age. Um, but yeah, the the revenge and the anger it does. I wanted to go to hospital and I wanted to hurt every doctor that didn't help him. Oh, I wanted to. It wouldn't have helped, but that's the feeling you get. Um, so it, it really did affect me, this movie, emotionally. Um, but it made me happy as well, because there's a message that Hero gets. And it, it's nice, and it makes you kind of think, like, mm, like if I could hear one thing from my brother, if it was something like what he was saying to 
here, well, saying about here in the video. If it's saying about me, you know, just, just thinking like what possibly positive thing would my brother say to me if he could again, you know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's why it's in my top 10 because emotionally speaking, this story speaks out to me more than any other has and uh, I'm really, really thankful that such a fantastic, beautiful piece of art exists. Yeah. Bet you're all kind of sitting there going, oh my God, I was not expecting. <laughs> Everyone's just sitting there going, right, dark video. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry I didn't mean to make it so dark I just thought I'd be honest and explain why because Big Hero 6 doesn't get as much talk about as most other movies and I think it definitely deserved a bit of a decent conversation for why it is such a fantastic movie and relatable to some people yeah, so that's that. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, click the subscribe button down below. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people. And I'll see you next time.